hello everyone and welcome back so basically in the last video we were here and we created a top bar which was actually showing the name of our text editor so in this video we are going to create a bar at the bottom which will actually show two different options to change the size of the font and the color of the text that we are using so let's create that now so for that we will have to go into our main view file and here we will have to first create a bottom bar and it should be a type of UI view and then we will have to follow some steps that we have already done so in here the first thing is we need to add this view so we will do add sub view bottom bar and then we will do bottom bar dot translate and it should be equal to false and then we need the background color to be black because it is the same it should be the same color as of the top bar and then we basically need to add some constraints to our bottom bar so for that I think the first thing should be the bottom constraint so we'll do bottom bar dot bottom anchor dot constraint and it should be self dot bottom anchor and let's make it active and now we will do the left and the right anchor so we can simply do it like this self dot left anchor and now let's hook up the right anchor it should be self dot right anchor and then is active equal to true now basically we need a height so for that we can do bottom bar dot height anchor dot constraint and let's try to use negative height and see whether it will work for us or not and if it does not work then we have to find another way so that we can use that particular height so let's try to build this and see whether we are getting any error for that negative height or not so let's run our application okay so it's not showing so maybe this is because uh, it is not taking the negative height okay so basically we need to find some other way so let's remove that for now so for that we can simply do is bottom bar dot top anchor dot constraint and we can use this method and we can say it should be self dot bottom anchor and the constant should be 65 so basically what it will do is it will set the top constraint of the bottom bar to be the 65 less than the bottom anchor of the main view so you can actually say that it is actually telling the Xcode to set the height to be 70 oh sorry 665 so let's run this and see whether we have achieved what we want okay so you can see that we have got a pretty nice bottom bar at the bottom of our view controller so basically now we need two different labels in the bottom bar which represents the text color and the text size so let's build that now so for that we will need to create two labels so it should be color label and it should be type of UI label and then 
size label it should also be a UI label so let's first hook up the color label inside our bottom bar so for that we can do bottom bar dot add subview and we can do color label we are doing bottom bar dot add subview instead of add subview because we want this color label to be actually inside our bottom bar not the main view and then we can do color label dot translate auto resizing mask into constraints and set it to false and then color label dot background color and it should be white and then color label dot text and I think by default let's keep the text to be black and then we can do color label dot text color and it should be black color and now set the text alignment and it should be center and now we have to add some constraints so the first constraint is that we need to put the label in the center horizontally not horizontally actually we need it to be in the center vertically so for that we can do color label dot center y anchor dot constraint and we can do bottom bar dot center y anchor okay and then we can do color label dot left anchor paint and we can do bottom bar dot left anchor and we can give it a constant value of let's say 16 for now and then we have to define the height and width for the label so for height let's choose 40 and for width I think we should choose 80 for now let's try to run our app and see whether we are getting uh, the color label in our bottom bar or not okay so you can see that we have got a nice bar at the bottom but I think the width is too small and the height is too big so let's change that so basically I will change the height to be 30 and width to be 100 and let's try to run this app again okay so I think it is looking good so basically if you zoom the app you will notice that the corners are not looking good so let's make the corners of the label rounded so for that we have to basically follow two different step the first one is color label dot layer dot mask to bounce and we will have to set this equal to true and then we will have to do color label dot layer dot corner radius and let's I think choose 10 let's run this app again and you will notice that the corners of the label will be rounded okay so let's zoom again and you will know you will notice that now the label is looking more nice so I think let's set let's also set up the size button on the right side of the bottom bar so for that I think I should copy all this code it will save us some time so we actually need the size label so let's replace
and basically for text we need 16 okay and all the things should be same bottom bar center y anchor and instead of left anchor we should do right anchor and this should also be right anchor and I think all the things should be same and let's run this and see whether we are also getting the size level at the bottom right corner or not okay so you will notice that it is actually cutting through the edge so let's see why we are getting this error so basically center y is right and size layer ok it should be minus 16 not 16 so let's run this again and I think this time we should get the label in the correct position ok so you can see that it is looking more nice so I think uh, we are done with this video and in this video we basically first created the bottom bar and then two different labels at the bottom which will trigger the font color and the font size we will add this fun functionality in later videos but I think that's all for now in the next video we are going to create the text editor and the line numbers in the bottom so not in the bottom in the middle where actually the screen is all white so I will see you in my next video.